up y'all and welcome back to my channel it's Mandy Glam and I want to say happy new year y'all we made it into 2020 and I am super excited about the year to come and I hope you are too so yes you see I'm in character honey I'm in my finest coat I got my bling on yes cuz we about to get into some celebrity fragrances okay I know y'all seen them they're everywhere Walgreens, Walmart, Target, wherever. They all over the place. And sometimes it's like, mm, should I buy this? I really don't know what it smells like. And you just don't get it, right? You just leave it there. So celebrity fragrance have gotten a little bit of a bad rep, okay? Some people don't like them because they smell like alcohol. They're too strong. They're not strong enough. Um, you know, they don't last long, whatever. So we are gonna get into some celebrity fragrances today. I have a whole lineup for y'all. Some I have on my own and a few I bought over the Christmas holiday because I caught a sale child, okay? So if you're interested in celebrity fragrances, stay tuned to this video. All right, first up on my lineup, I'm gonna go through the ones that I own. Um, I've had them for a little bit. Some of them I've bought more than once because I really liked them. And some of them I really didn't wear it enough as I should, but ah, enough of my talking. Let's get into this. So the first one we're going to start off with, and I'm going to give y'all the notes. Um, I really won't be spraying it because I'm going to unbox and spray the new ones that I just bought over Christmas holiday. So this one is uh, Nicki Minaj. This is Pink Friday. Um, this came out, I want to say, I read 2013 it came out, so it came out a while ago. Um, this one I actually bought for my daughter. She didn't wear it, so I just recently took it back. I think it's a really good fragrance. So the notes, I wrote them down because y'all know I can't remember them, okay? So, it's too many fragrances, too much to remember. Anyway, so Pink Friday, we're talking about musky, sweet, caramel, um, vanilla, musk, um, and woodsy. And I think it's really like a fun fragrance. Um, I think it's like everyday wear. You can wear it to work. You can wear it on a date. You can wear it in the summertime. I probably would definitely wear this spring or summer. I probably, if I mean, if I had to, I would wear it in the fall up to winter time. I think it can, you can wear it all year round, honestly. So, uh, yeah, this is Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. Okay, let's get into the next one. The next one is also by Nicki Minaj. This is Menagesty. Okay, by Nicki Minaj. Now, this one is the one I bought for myself. Um, and if I can remember, I think I bought them both at Walgreens. They were running like a buy one, get one free or something like that. It was a deal. So that's why I ended up with two. So this one I bought for me. Now this one is um, sweet, citrus, tonka bean, vanilla, and musk. Y'all know how I love my vanilla, my tonka bean, cocoa, musk, patchouli. So this one was right up my alley. Um... It is more of a fall, winter time, I think. I also think you can wear it all year round, honestly. So this is one of those fragrances. I don't know if y'all do this, but when I buy inexpensive fragrances, um, I like to keep them in my car. I know that the heat and elements and whatever could change the way it smells and stuff like that, but sometimes when I'm just like on the go and I don't remember to spray before I leave the house. I like to keep something in my car. And I think these inexpensive perfumes are perfect for that. So if I want to spray a little bit, I can just, I have it there in the car, whatever, or in my purse, whatever. So this is one of these. This is a really sexy smell. Um, it's a fun fragrance. I think it's really sexy. I think it's really fun, cute, whatever. The next one up is a fragrance. This is actually my second bottle of this. This is Naomi Campbell, Naomi Campbell, Naomi. Naomi by Naomi Campbell. Okay. 
y'all get it uh, so this is very powdery um, this is sweet powdery vanilla balsamic um, this is a I bet you a bunch of y'all didn't even know Naomi Campbell had a fragrance, did you? Don't lie. Comment below. Be honest. Did you know she had a fragrance? Because I didn't know she had one. Day and night, yes. Um, winter time, yes. Um, casual wear, yes. You can dress it up, dress it down. I've even worn this to work. I love this fragrance. And the writing was right here on the bottle. It says Naomi Campbell right there. And... And, and it's almost, I mean, I'm working my way through this bottle. And this is my second bottle. So that tells y'all how much I like it, right? I like it. The next one up is Halle by Halle Berry. This is like my third or fourth bottle of this. Now, when, when this first came out, I don't remember. It was several years ago. They used to sell the big bottles. And those were the ones that I would buy. Now, I can barely find this in the store anymore and her other fragrance i don't know if y'all seen my previous video where i was talking about celebrity fragrances and i mentioned this and how she had another one that they don't sell anymore and i can't find it it's called closer if you go on amazon right now you will find closer by halle berry and it's running for a hundred dollars i'm like seriously so y'all what i'm finding out is these celebrity fragrances the ones that are really popular when they stop making them people on amazon sell them for like hundreds of dollars and i'm just like what i wish i had it i i went through so many bottles of that closer just honorable mention if you have Halle berry closer girl if you can find it somewhere comment below i saw it the last time i bought it was in kohl's I can't find it anywhere but right now today let me get back on track right now today we're talking about Halle Berry Halle okay this right here reminds me of a coconut tropical bikini beach I mean it is so damn good y'all I'm not gonna lie when Halle Berry came out with her fragrances, she is like one of the celebrities that I trust when it comes to fragrances. Her and a few others will get into it in a second. But Halle never steers me wrong. I don't know who she got with to work on her stuff, but girl, she came hard, okay? This is a woody, floral, balsamic, amber, and powdery fragrance. And... When I tell you it smells so good, I have not smelled anything like this yet, okay? And I'm talking about celebrity, inexpensive, all the way through to high-end perfumes and clones. I have not smelled anything as sweet as this. Like, this, this is on edge of a gourmand almost, but not quite. It just reminds me of the beach and tropical and coconut and bikini and just it's just nice if y'all find this pick it up thank me later okay moving on the next one is oh so this one is by Sarah Jessica Parker and I when I went through my stash and I found this I felt so bad because this is a very, very, very unique fragrance, you guys. If y'all run into this, I went online recently on Amazon. They do carry it, and it's, it is affordable. And when I looked at it, I felt so bad because it is a very unique fragrance. And I'm missing the top, but it's Covet by Sarah Jessica Parker. And I'm, I'm going to try my best to describe this to you, okay? It is a floral, it's spicy, it has um, citrus, lavender, cocoa, cashmere, teakwood, and amber. This fragrance, I can't even describe it to y'all. It's beautiful, like, and look how much I have in the bottle, like, and the thing is, why I won't wear it now, and I'm not going to get rid of it, is because I, I love this so much, but it's such a unique fragrance, like, you just can't wear this anywhere like 
this is definitely stand out it's a heavy hitter when it comes to inexpensive cologne perfumes it is so nice it is very unique. If you are into unique smells, I promise you I won't steer you wrong. Try this. If you have a few coins that you can spare, try this. Definitely a wintertime fragrance. Definitely date night. I don't know if I'll wear it to work, but I mean, if you have your own office, girl, knock yourself out. Love this one. Sarah Jessica Parker, covet, okay? And the last one that I have is of course i mentioned this one in my perfume collection this is rihanna reb the fur reb le fleur okay <laughs> it is a sweet tuberose vanilla coconut powdery patchouli heavy hitter yes oh my god now i just told y'all there's a few celebrities that i don't know i don't know who they got with to work on this stuff but rihanna is one of them this girl makes some of the best smelling perfumes and oh this is definitely one of time this is sweet this is date night this is now you can be you can be bold if you want to and wear it in the summertime, you know, if you're trying to uh, get some attention because you definitely gonna get some attention wearing this one, I promise you. I love this one so much. As y'all can see, I'm halfway through the bottle. Um, one of my fragrances, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. I didn't know this was supposed to be a high heel. Is it this way, a like heel? Or I just don't see the heel. Somebody help me out and show me where the heel is at because it's supposed to be a high heel. I'm just, I don't know, I don't get it. But I still love the smell either way. I'm still wearing it, but yeah, I was researching it. It's supposed to be a high heel. Who knew? Who knew? Speaking of Rihanna, now these are blind buys. The I've never smelled this. Ex I've never smelled these fragrances except for one. One I have smelled. Okay, so we're gonna kick it off with again your girl Rihanna because I've always wanted this. This is nude by Rihanna, um, and I have done my research on it, and people um, really like it. So hopefully, I will like it too. Um, because she just can't do no wrong in my eyes. Music wise, now I can't afford her clothes. But, uh, <laughs> you know, as long as she making these affordable fragrances, I can buy that. But the clothes and the shoes and the shades, yeah, I'm not, I'm not there yet. Not there. So I did get this off of Amazon. And this is a, hey, hold on, let me see. <laughs> This is a 1.7 ounce um, Eau de Parfum Spray, and this is nude, and let's give it a, can't smell anything, let it give it a, I'm going to go ahead and spray it on my hand, because I trust her. This, okay, okay, you know, at first sniff, it kind of almost reminds me of this. I'm not going to lie, like, at first sniff, I'm going to let it dry down. Yeah, it reminds me of the Menagerie by Nicki Minaj. I guess because I just smelt Menagerie. Um, it's definitely powdery. It's way more lighter than the Reb Le Fleur. Um, At first sniff, it does give me a slight little headache, but I'll wait for the dry down and... Hopefully, um, it will. I can pick up some other notes. It's, it's powdery. Um, maybe some patchouli. Maybe a tuberose in it. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, let me smell them side by side. Yeah, this is this is definitely a nighttime, wintertime fragrance, and this one is lighter. Um, and I, I don't know how long it's going to last. I feel like this is not going to last me very long on my skin where this lasts me all day, like all day. 
Hey, I'm, you know, I'm almost tempted to buy another bottle of this because I feel like if she stops making it, I feel like at some point it will be $100 to buy this online. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy another bottle of this just because I have it. But I probably won't buy another bottle of this. And I wanted to like it so much. I really did. Even now that it's drying down, I feel like it's kind of fading almost. Uh, it's not overwhelming um, definitely for me it would be like a jean and t-shirt type perfume um, or if I'm just running out running errands and stuff like that that's when I wear this but uh. all right so the next one is by Paris Hilton now I know you guys have seen so many reviews on Paris Hilton child Y'all over Paris, I know, but I had to pick it up because I don't own any Paris Hilton perfumes. Neither. Zip, zero, none. Okay, so it is Paris Hilton and it came in a nice little gift set. So I thought, cool, this is a perfect opportunity for me to um, smell all her little fragrances and I actually got it for right here it says 22 but it was 50% off so I got it for like $11 can't beat that it was a deal um, had to get it so let's see let's see first impressions child you know I actually um, watched up some other youtubers and they don't have anything bad to say about the Paris Hilton collection so we'll see so the first one is ooh, Paris Hilton this is uh oh what I don't know which one this is let me get the box okay this is this, I don't have the names on them huh. this oh okay okay this one did okay they do have the names on them <laughs> Okay, this one is Can Can um, by Paris Hilton. I'm just gonna spray a little bit in the cap. See what we working with. Um, okay, not bad. It's actually nice. Um, can't call the notes on it. It doesn't smell like alcohol or anything like that. I would actually wear this. This would be like another one of those little tight perfumes I would throw in my gym bag, throw in my purse, put in my car. You know, for those instances when I want to wear some perfume. Alright, let's go with the next one. This is Can Can also. Why do they have two Can Cans in here? I guess this is a different flanker. Oh my god. Okay, um, this, oh, so one is Can Can. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry about that. So, <laughs> one is Can Can Burlesque, and one is just a uh, regular Can Can. So the Burlesque um, is a different flanker of the Can Can. Uh, let's see. This is, let's see what we got. Okay, it's pretty. I really do like it. Um, it is definitely light. It's not heavy. Um, it now it does smell a little bit on the alcohol side, but I'm not spraying it on my skin, so I don't know what it's gonna smell like when I dry it down. Would I wear it? Yes. Definitely, I would wear it. Um, which one do I like better? The Can Can Burlesque or the regular Can Can? The regular Can Can. Yeah, the Burlesque has a something about it that I um, don't care for. But the regular Can Can, yeah, I'll wear that. Um, and let's see, this one is Eris. Yeah. Here, it Oh my god, did I 
did I break it? Did I did I break it? Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, you know. <laughs> ah, okay. Eris um, reminds me of something from Bath and Body Works. Whew. And um, no, not my favorite. Would not be wearing that. It's all in my throat and everything. No. Um, yeah, I smelled this before. Um, yeah. No. Ooh. <laughs> mm -mm. No. All right, moving on. Um, and this is just Paris Hilton. Yeah. Come on. Uh, I like Paris Hilton. I think out of all of them, the Can Can, Paris Hilton Can Can original is my favorite. The other ones, I don't care for that much. Um, but for 11 bucks, come on. So this next one, I should have bought my coffee. This next one that I'm going to spray is this, this one. And I'm so glad I found it for the low. Um, everybody talks about this celebrity fragrance. I mean, when it, it, you can go right now watch any YouTuber review of my perfume collection or celebrity fragrances or whoop de whoop whatever. You, I guarantee you, this fragrance will come up nine times out of ten. It's going to come up. So when I saw it, I had to get it because I'm like, I've never smelled it before. And I want to see what the hype is about. So here we go. Britney Spears, Curi oh, Fantasy. Fantasy by Britney Spears. And I know she has a few different flankers of this smell. I really hope I like it. I think the bottle is cute. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. I'm actually gonna spray this on my hand, okay? I don't even know what it smells like, but I'm gonna spray it on my hand. Okay, not mad. Let's let that dry down a little bit. Okay, Brittany. You know what? This actually smells like something I've had before. Um, like Omoir. I don't know if y'all know what that is. I may not be saying it right. This is sweet. Um, I, now that it's drying down, it's drying down powdery. I, I like it. Okay, I like this better than all of the Paris Hiltons that I just smelled. So, you know, it smells good. I would definitely wear this. I would wear this. So no wonder why everybody and their mama talking about it on YouTube because it's actually pretty good. So, um, how much did I pay for these? Uh, I paid $19.99 for this one. I don't, I can't remember if it was on sale or not. It says retail value $52 um, and I got it for $19.99. So, yeah, anyway, ain't got time to wait for the camp. Uh, so in the set, I got a little um, purse travel um, bottle. And then I got some, is this lotion? Yeah. Little lotion, little lotion for you know, elbows and your hands and whatnot. You know, you can't be ashy in these streets in 2020, okay? Get them feet, get them heels, you know, get them knuckles. Put a little lotion on it. This is actually a good smell. I'm really surprised. I mean, I am just like, wow, I like it. De definitely will. At be adding this to my collection. Yes, indeed. I like it. All right, on to the next one. One of my favorite celebrity, um, celebrities, period. And I love her fragrances. This is another Sarah Jessica Parker by. 
So I'm happy I ran into I, I'm happy I saw this in the store. So I went to it. I did get this one from Walgreens and it's regularly $22. I got it for $11 and I'm happy I picked this up because I love her fragrances so much. I told y'all about the covet. Um, I, I I love her fragrances so much, so I'm actually excited to tear into this one. Yes, Sarah Jessica. Let's start with Lovely. Ooh, why do they put it in these, in these packages that you can't open? I finally got it out the packaging. All right, this is Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, let's spray it on this arm. I'm excited about this one. I like it. Um, it reminds me of something. Um, ooh, well, ooh. I don't like it, y'all. I like. I mean, okay, okay, it's not awful. But I don't see, I don't really see myself wearing it though. It's giving me, I hate to say this, I hate to say it, it's giving me roach spray vibes. Maybe not roach spray. But it is it is definitely unique. I need to find out what let's fit let's see what the notes are in this because I'm I'm curious. Okay. This, it says it opens up with the soft citrus and woody rosewood notes with a touch of lavender. Um and then it develops into an apple martini, paper whites, which is narcissus, orchid, and the base is amber, cedar, woody, and white musk. A lot of my favorite things, but no, I, I just know. And I, I've smelled this before and I don't know, it's not coming to me right now, but no. The answer is no on this one. Ugh, that's sad because I really like her perfumes. So let's see what this SJP New York City is about. Hopefully it smells better than the... Okay. All right, let's see what this... What the... Oh. All right. All right then, let's see. Okay, like this way better. Oh yeah, oh this smells so good y'all. Oh it smells good. Um, powdery, it is very fun fragrance. Let's see what the notes are because I'm curious to see what the notes are in this one. Um, okay, it says that it has mandarin, osmanthus, Wild strawberries, gardenia, honeysuckle, mimosa, Damascus rose, vanilla, sandalwood, rum, and creamy musk, honey. Baby, they got me with the rum. Yes. Oh, and it's drying down so good. Oh, I love this. This is just airy. It's sexy. Yes, it's definitely, definitely springtime summertime yes when you put on your little summer dress girl you know the ones that make your booty look big yes this you need this with that dress you need this with that dress honey with your toes done and your cute sandals okay with your little corn rolls and your lip gloss popping don't say i ain't tell you Yes, when you doing, you know, sitting outside, having lunch with your girls, you know what I'm saying, drinking rosé, rosé all day on Sundays. This is what you need. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so, it smells just like, 
Yes, I smell the strawberries in it. The strawberries smell so good. And the mimosa, mimosa. That's what it smells like. It reminds me of a bellini, a peach bellini. Oh, it smells so yummy. It's sexy, yummy, fun, like, oh, that's how you do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yes, this is a must buy. I will link everything in the description below so y'all can see where y'all can go buy it. But yes, they should have put two of these in the box playing with me. Shoot, whenever. So this fragrance, I actually went to went to Ulta one day and I was spraying perfumes and I actually sprayed this one on my body. And in some of my comments in the last video that I did, a lot of people was like, "You need to you need to go smell this perfume." And it is called uh Baccarat Rouge 5 40 okay it is made by a perfumer called um maison francis kerjohn and it's uh again it's called he has several fragrances from my understanding i'm just now learning about him i don't really know much and i've gotten mixed reviews on this one, so y'all yeah, probably know the celebrity fragrance that i'm about to set to mention in a few seconds but yeah People are comparing this fragrance to Maison Francis Kerjohn Baccarat Rouge 540, which is super expensive from what I understand. Um, but the celebrity fragrance that I have is none other than Ariana Grande Cloud. And I, let me tell y'all, I haven't smelled the Baccarat Rouge 540, but I have smelled this. Now I sprayed this on myself when I went to Ulta and I left Ulta and I was literally smelling myself like all day. Oh, it smelled so good. I think my initial um, smell of it, I didn't care for. But once it dried down on me, it was nice. So this one I did cheat a little bit. Um, I bought this one at Walmart and it is a uh one ounce and for the price $19, $20, dollars $19 $20. I mean you can't beat that. That is a deal. And it came with a little lotion and the perfume. So you know I was gonna buy it. So I actually went back to Walmart to see if they had some more love. And they didn't. So that was upsetting because when I saw them, they had a bunch of them and I should have bought two, but I was being cheap. Oh. All right, the top flew off is across the room. <laughs> Ariana Grande Cloud and this comes out. I think that is so cute. The packaging is super cute. Um, it reminds me of a teenager, but hey, I just think that it's cute for her, you know. But you take that out and let's get the spray. Let's see, I need some skin. All right. Yes. Yes. All I can say is yes, y'all. I don't care. Let me tell y'all something right quick. If you are building up your perfume collection and your money is funny, your funds is low, you need to start off with celebrity fragrances and you must have this one in your collection. Oh, 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 yes. I am floating on a cloud, okay? Yes, I am. This is so nice. I'm telling y'all, out of all the packages that I just opened up and just smelled, these two, are my top two and oh uh, let's let's get the notes right quick let's get the notes let's get the notes we we got to get the notes on this because i can't just leave y'all out here in these streets without these notes y'all i want y'all to know what this smell like because this smells so damn good it's a, it's a gourmand they're already they said it yes it is definitely a gourmand so if you're into sweet 
smells, sweet fragrances, this is definitely for you. Ariana Grande. This is, what are they saying? So, the top notes are bergamot, pear, lavender. The middle notes are coconut, whipped cream, pralines, vanilla, ooh, and wood, wood, woody and musk. Those are the base notes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this so much. Y'all, get this, get this, get this. Get this. Did you hear me? I said get this. You will not be disappointed. If I was you, I'd go to Walmart right now, see if they still got it. I'm just saying. They probably won't though, so save your gas. <laughs> All right, that concludes my celebrity fragrances. Yes, if you have a favorite celebrity fragrance and you want me to smell it, you think I should buy it, Comment it in below. Comment it below. Yes. And I will check it out. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching my video. If you love this video, like it. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends. Tell your mama. Tell everybody. Yes. And this 2020, y'all, we doing it this year. Like, it's, we going, we reaching for our goals. We securing the bag, okay? We smelling good the whole time while we doing it and I'm super excited and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.